I've never heard of this word in my entire life. This is the first time I've seen it or heard it. Out of the ten words here, I know four. This question sheet might be the hardest one that I've had to do on this channel. Konnichiwa! And welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. It has been a while since I've recorded one of these videos. Um, the last video I did was with my girlfriend Charlie, and that was recorded a, a month ago. I think it's been about four weeks since I've recorded a video. It's been a long time. It's been very hot. We've recently been hitting consistent peaks of about 30 to 32 degrees. We don't have air conditioning in England. We have little fans that I have to just turn on and point at me to cool me down. I have a new set of questions for you today. We are looking at Keio University Law Department from 2014. We have a passage inside our 10 words and these 10 words are underlined and they have provided a list of dictionary definitions and our job is to match the definitions with the words in the passage. Package? Passage. I will read the entire passage so you can hear how I say it in a, in a British English accent. Maybe you can try to replicate it. Let's begin. The commander checked his watch again. The attack would commence in 15 minutes. Yes, the point of no return would soon be upon him and the troops under his command. Dawn was still an hour away, and before them lay the slumbering town of San Cristobal, blissfully unaware of the approaching tumult. Tumult. I've never heard of this word in my entire life. This is the first time I've seen it or heard it. I have no idea what it could mean, but what you do is you take the context around it. So they're talking about an attack and they are unaware of the approaching tumult. So tumult could mean something like attack or danger. If we look at the definitions, a sign or warning that something usually bad or unpleasant is going to happen. Well, it's not really a sign. Something bad is going to happen. Army or the, the soldiers are not a sign. They are the bad thing, so it's not that. Uh, in a manner that suggests an evil or misfortune to come. No, I don't think it's that. Of an extent or degree that elicits awe. Nope, I don't think it's that. In a way that forms a tangle from which it is impossible to get free. No, I don't think it's that. Agitation of the mind or emotions. Nope. <laughs> At first glance, I would say it's none of these. <laughs> um, but it has to be one of them. A sign or warning that something usually bad or unpleasant is going to happen makes the most sense. So I think tumult is zero. Thinking back, the decision to launch an attack at 3am had been somewhat capricious. One, after all, why not 2.30 or 3.30? Uh, somewhat capricious. Again, this is another word that I don't know. Out of the 10 words here, I know four. You, as English as foreign language speakers, have to know what these words mean is crazy to me. Because I don't know what they mean, and I'm an English teacher. I live in England, I use English every day. I don't know what these words mean. It seems kind of pointless having them in an exam, but whatever. Let me do my job. Guided by whim or fancy rather than by judgement or settled purpose. Yes, that makes sense. Guided by whim or fancy rather than by judgement or settled uh, So I think it's five an idea that wasn't really thought through, a bit spontaneous or unplanned, that kind of thing. Not that it mattered now, there could be no turning back, no postponement, no delay. The wheels of rebellion had been firmly set in motion. The hour of retribution would soon be upon them. The hands of the commander's watch moved inexorably towards the appointed hour. I do know inexorably, but I am fairly certain it is definition seven, which is relentlessly, unceasingly, unstoppingly. So the watch hand on his wristwatch kept going uh, and it was never going to stop you know you can't stop time at the end of the day scarcely had he finished his thought when the heavens opened a savage downpour ensuing good phrase heavens opened uh we actually use that in england a lot um if the heavens open it starts pouring with rain we have a lot of different words <laughs> we have a lot of different words and phrases for rain in the uk because we get a lot of it it rains 200 out of 350 days a year. It rains all the time in the UK. So we have lots of different ways to talk about rain. We have showers, we have pouring, we have the heavens opened. The list goes on. A savage downpour ensuing. Downpour is another word for rain. Ensuing is like 
as a result of something. Uh, number nine, taking place afterward or as a result. Was this a portent of the violence to come? The commander wondered to himself. Portent, again, I've never ever heard this word in my entire life. Again, using the context, he's asking himself a question. Was this a portent of the violence to come? Is this a vision or a uh, omen? A foreshadowing. So a foreshadowing is like, something happens. Portent is definition zero, which I thought was tumult, so I'm gonna have to go back and change that. Uh, a sign or warning that something usually bad or unpleasant is going to happen. It's like uh, superstition. So in the UK, uh, if you walk under a ladder, then you are considered to have bad luck. If you see a black cat, you are considered to have bad luck. Lots of weird things. It is a portent of what is going to happen in the future. True, the storm clouds had been gathering ominously all evening, but it was only now that they unleashed their cargo of icy cold rain on those below. Um, ominously, I do know ominously. Very good word. I am a writer. I write for fun. I write for experience because I want to write in the future as my job. Ominously is like worrying in a manner that suggests an evil or misfortune to come. Definition number one. The commander was grimacing. Uh, grimacing is a facial expression. I don't really know what a grimace is. I know it's a facial expression. It's kind of like a uh, number six. <laughs> Looking disgusted, disapproving or in pain. That's a grimace. So uh, like if you cut your arm, you go that that is a grimace like that. Disgusted, disapproving, or in pain, that is answer number six. Such a colossal downpour would bring with it poor visibility, mud, and soaking wet clothing and equipment. So colossal is fairly common word, very good word, and it means big or large. Answer number two, of an extent or degree that elicits awe or immense. So that is answer number two. Immense is another good word for big. Okay, uh, yes, he thought. The going would surely be much harder now. Taking shelter briefly under a nearby tree in order to light his pipe, he felt the chill night air seeping into his bones. Seeping usually means something like seeping into is like slowly passing into. Number eight flowing or passing slowly through small openings, entering or penetrating slowly, becoming diffused or spreading. Water can seep through your walls. Last little bit. It was now or never, he determined, and took one last puff of his pipe before giving the signal for the assault to start. Henceforth, his own destiny and that of the rebel cause would be inextricably linked. So inextricably, that's again quite tough. I've rarely heard this word, I don't really know what it means. But looking at what we've already answered, we have only definitions three and four left. So number three is in a way that forms a tangle from which it is impossible to get three. Three? Three. In a manner incapable of being disentangled. Tangled, it is linked. And if it's inextricably linked, it means it's linked and you cannot pull it apart. His fate and the fate of the rebellion are linked and you cannot pull them apart. So that is definition number three, which means tumult number one is number four. Agitation of the mind or emotions, a disorderly commotion or disturbance, uh, a tempestuous uprising. And I guess here, tumult means a tempestuous uprising because these rebels are going to rise up against the, the town of San Cristobal. So the answer there is four. I'm going to tell you now, this question sheet might be the hardest one that I've had to do on this channel. And I've been doing these videos for over a year that I've been doing these. Uh, and that is the hardest one I've had to do. So if you went to Keio University to study law in 2014, I applaud you because these were really difficult. These words are words that I don't use commonly. You're never gonna hear them in a standard conversation. You might hear some, some of them in writing, so in novels, in books. A lot of these words are just words you're never gonna have to worry about. But it's a very good exam in practicing your use of context to figure out what somebody is saying maybe figuring out words that you don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are still staying safe. I know everything in the world is a little bit strange right now. I think everybody's feeling the full force of it. I sincerely hope that everybody out there is doing okay, and I hope to see you soon in another video. Thank you very much for watching. Sayonara.